Welcome back to That, that YouTube, YouTube Family. Today we're playing Escape the Room. Woo. See ya. <laughs> we got this game for Christmas, and a lot of you guys have said that you wanted to see us play this game. So we're here today, and we're gonna play it together. It's a mystery at the Stargazer's Manor. Oh. So here's the backstory to this game. It has been over a year since the caretaker was dismissed by Richard Harrison, the retired astronomer who who the townsfolk all knew so well. After the death of his wife three years ago, the astronomer began acting quite strangely, sending away all of the help at his manor except for the caretaker and the cook, refusing visitors, withdrawing more and more inside his observatory, and then one day, quite suddenly, forcing the caretaker and the cook out the door as well. As an employee at the manor for over 20 years, the caretaker had developed quite a fondness for the quirky astronomer. Recently, the caretaker made the long journey up to the old manor to persuade the astronomer to let his friends help fix, fix things up. The gate was locked, the mail had piled up, but the caretaker was most alarmed by the strange noises, the unpleasant smell and the smoke coming from the observatory. The caretaker wrote letters asking for the help of a few friends in the town to join in, in an investigation of the manor. Thankfully, they have all agreed and have gathered tonight outside of a side entrance and will soon venture inside to investigate. I think James right. I think he's trying to bring his wife back to life, like Frankenstein. So I am the caretaker and I'm here with all my friends. Oh, you're the caretaker. I'm going to be, I'm going to oh, claim, chef. I'm claiming the caretaker. Chef. Okay. Okay. As a group, we have to unravel the mystery of the astronomer and escape the room. You will uncover clues and solve puzzles al along the way. Everything you will need is in the envelope boxes, you, but you must arrive at the right solutions before you can open each envelope. Any escape from the room is a victory. You may find more to the story if you're willing to go the extra mile. Um, you said you have a timer? Uh, okay. This is not really we a need timer. a paper and pencil. Go. Go, Audrey. If your group wants to use our online hints during the game, we will might be slipping out for some help from the internet. Internet? The internet. The internet. <laughs> hey, copyright 2016, that YouTube family. Okay. So in the box, there's these five envelopes, the dressing table, the filming cabinet, the bookcase, the telescope, and the door. The last light of dusk casts a long, ominous shadow from the Stargazer's Manor. The caretaker leads you up what is left of the front steps, carefully avoiding the weeds that are slowly overtaking the old house. You enter through a side door, dim light spilling into the parlor and revealing an appalling sight. The manor is riddled with pipes of all sizes connecting all manner of bizarre machinery. All of the comforts and finery have been shoved aside to allow room for these strange contraptions. You soon realize that the pipes are all part of a single, immense machine the scope of what of which is so great it is marvelous the entire house does not collapse under its weight whatever its function the machine is operational as it produces a continuous hum that can be heard throughout the house alas there is no sign of the astronomer you follow the largest of the pipes and find that they converge in a single room in the attic entering you startle as a heavy iron door slams shut behind you you hear the muffled sounds of locks engaged, engaging. You are trapped. Ah, oh, great. Oh. Uh, start the timer, timer now. now. Hour and 30 minutes on the clock. Go, we gotta hurry. Go, go, go. Okay, you turn to examine your new confinement. Five primary objects share your prison. A stylish dressing table covered by a layer of dust. A strange telescope extending to the angled ceiling. A sturdy metal filing cabinet bristling with thick hinges and bolts. A large bookcase filled with aging books and the unyielding iron door preventing your escape. You decide to investigate these things. Look closely at the illustrations on the five large envelopes, but do not open them yet. A framed photo of the astronomer's wife on the dressing table catches your notice. The images seem oddly out of place in this laboratory environment. A curious thing indeed. Remove the photo and examine it. Oh, we can take it off. We gotta examine the picture. What do you see on back? The on the key. back? Does the key fit the lock on the dressing table? Use the solution wheel to find out. Yes. Okay. Line up each of the colored symbols from the key on each of the four colored rings with the white symbol from the dressing table. It says you will see the same dressing table symbol through two windows on the solution wheel. Congratulations, you have solved the puzzle. You can now open the dressing table envelope and dump out its contents. Now you're on your own. Is it the dressing room table? 
Yep. Yes. Okay, tight. It fits. There, Let's open it. There. Oh, what is this? Open it up. Oh, scene card two. A terrible tragedy. Oh my! So we found a scene card in the envelope as well as this big map. Can I see the white So, 1866 thing? is circled. Yeah, that has to be something. Isn't that the year that she died? Or is this the year that we're investigating? Hmm. There's this symbol on her chest. That... Oh, yeah. There's a bird! This makes a bird. Any of the symbols here. It does not match anything. <laughs> cool. It's, it's a moon. With a heart, or what is it? So it'd be like this moon with a circle. Yeah, that's, that's it. what it is. That's, it, it's the moon with the circle. So she's wearing something like so that. That's and what here's she's wearing. another. And here's another. And I bet you there's one in here. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I. <laughs> so I guess I'm lost. I'm lost. We don't know what to do. <laughs> Went off into the forest. There's nothing here but stars. And there's mountains. There's a mountain. I don't this know is a picture of a bird. bird. This is a picture this of a bird. This is a dog. Or this is a like, the sign, you know. That's the electricity that one. That's electricity. So we're totally stuck on this. We need a clue. So we're on the internet. <laughs> Good thing we have the clue, clue in it. Yep, so there's a website you can go to and it will give you hints to help you. So this is their first hint. I think yeah, I get it. I, I think I get it. That's what I was getting at. That's what I was looking at. I think at. I get it. I think Just I get it. Can I see that? See, okay, I was looking something. So we've kind of figured it out. All right, we're opening up the envelope. Scene card three. A closer inspection reveals that this large is far more than it first appears. It is locked tight. Could there be some clue to the combination? So. I feel like they have to match up to something. Because there's a dot. Just has to hit something to match. Yep. Are we doing it right there, Mom? Mom's like well, smiling. Okay, so I read the hints just to see if they're on the right track, and they are on the right track that you have to line them up. You have to do that and get the four key codes. So, All right, we're 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 gonna work on this. We'll be back in a minute. Scene Listen. card nine, happy ending. Well done, you have discovered what has become of the astronomer. Congratulations, you have escaped the room. Yay. Yeah! So we had 20 minutes left in the clock. Comment down below what you think happened, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!